But never turn to let's play afterlife. I'm gonna start out going demonically fast. And still Orange is having problems. So, I'm just gonna put in a limbo bar and say fuck it. And this one isn't gonna go away anytime soon. See, I just balanced these. Before I turned it on, I just balanced these. next to it and force these things to evolve Did something just blow up well now brown is having an issue what the fuck And blue is supposedly having an issue. Alright, well, this isn't solving itself. There we go. So we're having problems with siphons? Yes, we are. Alright, all the rocks are up here. We should now have more than enough. And for some fucking reason, that continues to fill up. So I'm just going to put in a second gate. This will be an end to that problem. It looks like when heaven fro or hell froze over, it uh, destroyed one of my. Yeah, it destroyed a couple, damn it. At least it didn't leave rocks. Sometimes they leave rocks behind. At least they do in heaven. problems? We shouldn't. The generic zones are just terrible right now. Let me look at vibes. Okay, well that caused that to evolve. I'm gonna have problems with yellow and orange and brown again. Anyway, Orange finally evolved into the bowels of hell. 
It's very difficult to describe the bowels of hell without getting nauseous, but here goes. 1. The gluttonous damned are sewn into the interior lining of a humongous archdemon's digestive tract. For the record, the archdemon in question invariably has bad diets filled with lots of spicy food. 2. Each soul has a clear plastic feeding tube crammed into his mouth. 3. The other end of the feeding tube is connected to the, uh, other end of the digestive tract of each soul's neighbor, resulting in... Sorry, I thought I could get through with it, but my stomach couldn't take it. Take a look at the picture if you must. Yeah. Pretty nasty place. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to do some balancing or else this is just never gonna go anywhere. So, I will be back. Alright, I've added some zoning as well. More than a few of Hell's punishments have fallen under unfortunate clouds of good vibes. Ooh, good vibes are keen! Yes, but not in Hell. If you wish to eliminate these keen patches of Hell, I'd suggest putting a dystopia or a gift structure near the afflicted buildings. Okay, well, we're coming up on five million souls already, so hopefully we can use that. We've got a few new structures. The San Quentin Scarantino. Nothing takes the ego down a couple of pegs like a few hundred years of prison politics. Overcrowded, violent, and humiliating to the extreme, these pestilent penitentiaries would normally qualify as the worst pride punishments if it weren't for the undeniably hilarious gallows humor that comes out of them and the zoo. They say it all it's all happening at the zoo. If they're talking about being caged, tormented, teased, fed raw meat, and forced to mate with strangers to perpetuate endangered species, then yes, I do believe it's true. Let's see what this brings. Brings problems. Why the fuck are my gates I mean, how am I having that many people come in? Why are the gates not connected here? They should be. And the roads aren't disconnected anywhere. It's just this one is full and this one is not. Now I'm going to have road problems. This one already evolved. That's good. Junior high. In hell, some of the damned must constantly repeat grades 7 through 9 because of an error on their permanent records. To make matters worse, they keep showing up to school in their underwear. That is for generic. Or for, uh, just for evil souls, I guess, is what it qualifies as. With all due respect, your immenseness, Hell's punishments are a downright mess. Well, at that would least be all in the new stuff that I made. You know that what? Sounds oh, bad. We can oh, it is. If Hell is ever to evolve out of its current quagmire right. of mediocrity, shut up. Shot in Wawa? Riot. It always starts out as peaceful, as a peaceful protest. It always starts out as a peaceful protest but the wrathful nature of the damned always ensures that something goes wrong. I don't know if it's just the spacing or what, but it is very hard for me to read this crap sometimes. Okay, well, we took care of the... Uh... We seem to have taken care of the vibes problem. Have I read Grave Consequences? I don't know. For the slothful damned who lived their lives as though already dead, this punishment is twofold. First, the damned are compelled to dig their own graves with a spoon through rock-hard tundra. Years later, when they finally dug a deep enough hole, they're buried alive and remain fully aware as worms and bugs slowly eat at their innards for all eternity.
There's an old joke in the afterlife that goes something like this. What's worse than being sent to hell? I don't know what. Waiting in line to get in. In other words, build some more gates. Oh, that's taken care of. And this one just came back. To some, oh, looks like that. He's, he's evolving. Yes, now we have another big orange. We should never have to worry about orange again. Although it looks like we will. Oh, and uh, I now have to import some more demons. I gotta make sure that I don't import too many. Uh, what was this? The New Age Hells. You'd think that the touchy-feely, hippy-dippiness that permeates most of the New Age culture would have no place in the rough-and-tumble plane of hell. But you'd be wrong. In the Trey Experimental New Age Hells, demons urge the damned to get in touch with their inner schmucks as they give them a taste of pyramid power. The damned are tied to big metal pyramids with 20,000 volts running through them. Alien visitations. Demons dressed in unconvincing alien costumes abduct the damned and perform cruel experiments on them. Male and female bonding. Demons doing things with super glue that are medically unsound. The mysteries of the tarot. Paper cuts. Millions of paper cuts. If you want to see tomorrow's punishments today, this is the place to be. Alright, I guess I have to do the rebalancing of all those new generic things I put in there. Be back in a minute. I really don't know why I say that, because for you guys, it's instantaneous. Oh, how wonderful. Things are finally popping up. A couple things are popping up. Okay, the Sisyphus Mountains. The Sisyphus Mountains are classics of eternal damnation. Every day the slothful damned push massive boulders up the side of an immense mountain. Every evening, just as they're about to reach the top, their footing gives way, causing their boulders to roll down to the bottom. And it looks like this one. Cracked Mirror Condos. The Cracked Mirror Condominiums are subtle puppies. Unlike other apartments in hell, they're not crowded, the neighbors aren't noisy, and the landlords are polite. What is different about these condos is the perpetual cloud of bad luck that hangs over them. Hardly a day goes by without a couple hundred toes being stubbed, a few thousand keys being lost, and several dozen tenants being hit by lightning. The damned, unable to blame anyone in particular for their never-ending run of bad luck, are left cursing the fates. That opened things up a little bit. But they're still horrifically unbalanced. And it's just not gonna get better. if I can get five million souls. Not at this rate. We are at two pennies a soul. That's a good soul rate. Well, I don't know. Maybe I will. It's not taking all that long. To get close. Sounds like something just went. Oh, finally. Okay, we got this Roboto again. Just gonna take more. Putting these generic zones is taking off pressure from the other crap. But is filling up almost immediately afterward. Okay, well, that's good there. 
How many uh, demons do we have? 14%. Uh, what are you talking about, Jasper? Let me keep that shit on. Trying to screw me up there. See, I just balanced well, that. Kiss my grits. Look who's got five million souls stashed away in hell. Although I'm underwhelmed, the powers that be think you're the bee's knees and have had this flabbergasting, flatulence olfactory flown in from the farthest nether regions. Okay. Let's put a stop right there, and it looks like... I immediately got another Escher pit. Okay. <sighs> Maybe I should put that over there. I'll just sort of fit it into the corner here. <laughs> the Flabbergasting Flatulence Oil Factory. Skegfod the Ungrateful Demon, Chapter 3. The screaming and moaning of the dam did little to brighten Skegfod's mood as he stood in the throne room of the crinkly cacophony contrivance. They seem to be suffering, he thought, but how can anyone really suffer in a hell as pleasant as this? As if in answer to his unvoiced question, a cadre of kilometer-tall archdemons strode into the scene, squashing all within their path. They sat next to Skegfod's structures and began to eat house-sized burritos. These were no ordinary burritos, no sir. These burritos were packed with diseased, long-dead animals and other icky stuff of that ilk. When they were done with their burritos, the archdemons let out a burst of flatulence so mighty that several nearby buildings melted into a puddle of goo. I've had a shopping mall sales girl assault me with worse odors, odors scoffed Skegfod. If you want something stinky, check this out. Working quickly, Skegfod soon patched together the flabbergasting flatulence oil factory, capable of making the sweetest rolls smell like a dead skunk. The powers that be realized what needed to be done. I'm not really sure what Skegfod's fate is after the hell things, because as with the heaven gift structures, I have never gotten the fifth structure in hell. It will be interesting to see. And uh, things are going surprisingly well here. I mean, it's only the year 1900. We've got 5 million souls in hell, but we've got 2 million souls, or embos, on the planet. So it's keeping pace with our civilization. Although, uh, there's still only this small little patch of demonic or evil people, which is kind of worrying, but, uh, yeah, he's still complaining about those damn training centers, but really, it's not that big a deal. And they've got a quotient of 104%, or just 104, rather. I mean, I guess I could turn them off. We're importing 8%. Still, I'd kind of like to keep going with that. Our topia is half full and our gates, even though I've still got two gates here, they're both half full, over half full. Putting out pretty good vibes too. Um, well that should. Should put out really bad vibes. Oh boy. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So what evolved there? This thing evolved. The NP Complete Parking Garages. The NP Complete Parking Garages are architectural marvels. When the Wrathful arrive, a demon gives them a car and tells them to, to leave hell, all they have to do is legally park the car in the parking garage. 
Naturally, this sounds easier than it looks. For one thing, thousands of empty spaces are reserved for the handicapped and VIDs, very important demons, and anyone attempting to illegally use these spaces is strapped to the underside of a car for four months, which wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the rats. Of the remaining spots, nearly all of them are taken. Sometimes it looks like there is an open space, but there's a motorcycle in it. Hundreds of other spaces are being wasted by poorly parked cars that are hogging two, or sometimes even three spaces. Every time a genuine space opens up, a demon driving a sports car in the wrong direction slips into it before the dam can get there. It's evil, folks. Pure evil. Uh, this also evolved. Fear unlimited. Everyone's afraid of something, and the demons of fear unlimited are ex experts at unearthing those fears and bringing them to life. To date, they've cataloged and implemented over 25 billion types of phobias, from the exotic purple rosophobia, the fear that movie characters are going to step off the screen and kill you, to the banal physophobia, the fear of carbonated drinks. Uh, I bet I'm going to have to do more restructuring because of that crap. And, uh, uh, maybe not. Okay, another quick uh, restructure here. All right, let's go really fast again. The Embos invent irrigation. Irrigation makes farms more productive, reducing food shortages and allowing cities to grow larger. Water plants regularly and they grow. Who'd have thunk? People rejoice as news of the discovery spreads. I'm not sure if I did irrigation in the last LP or not. And we are having brown problems, even though we should not be having brown problems. Wow, that was a lot of people in that flood. It's the year 2000 now, and uh, the soul rate has dipped significantly. I think there are several factors that uh, deal with that. What they are exactly, I have no idea. What is that? A faux heaven. Many of the slothful damned believe that they deserve to be in heaven, little realizing that their lazy ways have earned them a place in hell. For those self-deluded fools, hell hath created these cheesy replicas of heaven. They're just like the real heaven, except that they suck. So, like the last one that I had? I just, I just fixed these. I just fixed those ones and they fucking uh I really don't know what to do about that. Um, but I could be expanding the pink here. Just gonna cause more balancing needs for me. Hooray! A good note to end the let's play on. Or the session, anyway. These are moderately trafficked roads, and you can tell because of all the souls on them. Yeah, it's getting worse. Which is good for us. Uh, but anyway, we just got the big fourth slightly unbalanced. Not anymore. The big 4x4. Four four. A world of pain. Wow, you've managed to create a world of pain, the ultimate in generic punishments. In this gargantuan complex, millions of souls can be efficiently tortured using a combination of modern-day psychological techniques and good old-fashioned instru instruments of horror. Uh, yeah, right now, it's got 
place. <laughs> it's got room for a million two hundred thousand souls. So having a lot of these is actually good. It's very useful. Um, and that's that's right off the bat too. It's the year two thousand, and we've uh, we're, we are actually slowing down. Look at the graph view. Yeah. Over 10,000 years is going right up, but over the past 500, well, I don't know. It's kind of petered off here, actually, just in the past 25. See, because it was going up and going up, and now it's in this little area where it's just sort of flattened. And that's not good for us, because otherwise we're going to end up with the same situation that we had in heaven. That's just not good, but we're making 30,000 pennies a year, which is pretty damn good. Got a lot of space to grow. I can't see turning this back on being a problem. But then again... It would just figure. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop the video here. I will see you next time.